Inspection procedures for Holland Kingpins, including the trailer upper coupler plate. Important. Inspection and maintenance of the trailer upper coupler plate and kingpin should be completed every three months or 30,000 miles to ensure safe kingpin to fifth wheel coupling. A printable version of this kingpin inspection procedure can be found on SAF Holland's website. For this procedure, you will need a Holland kingpin gauge, a 48 inch straight edge, and a measuring tape. Begin by inspecting the trailer upper coupler plate. Using a 48 inch straight edge, check for flatness across the plate in all directions. Any bumps, valleys, or warping will cause uneven loading on the fifth wheel, which could result in top plate damage and poor lock life. Replace the trailer upper coupler plate if warping exceeds the following. Upper coupler plate deflection should not exceed 0.06 inches near the kingpin across a 38 inch distance as shown here. Upper coupler plate deflection should not exceed 0.12 inches upward measured 10 inches from the kingpin, nor should it exceed 0.25 inches upward measured 19 inches from the kingpin as shown here. Next, inspect the kingpin surface and mounting. Check the kingpin surface for cracks or excessive gouges. Also check that it is securely mounted and can't move at all. A cracked or a loose kingpin must be replaced. Next, inspect the kingpin for straightness. Using the Holland kingpin gauge, check that the kingpin is not bent and remains at 90 degrees from the upper coupler plate in all directions. The kingpin needs to be replaced if it exceeds one degree from square in any direction. Now, inspect the kingpin for proper height. Using the gauge, align the edge with the kingpin as shown here. The end of the kingpin should fit within the gauge notch. If it does not fit within the notch with the gauge flat along the upper coupler plate, the kingpin is not the proper height and must be replaced. Caution! Do not use aftermarket add-on upper coupler slick plates or slick discs. The use of add-on plates will change the height of the kingpin, causing an improper coupling connection between the kingpin and the fifth wheel lock jaws. Caution! SAF Holland recommends against the use of aftermarket fifth wheel lube plates. These lube plates alter the contact distance between the fifth wheel locking mechanism and kingpin, which can result in accelerated lock component wear or a failed coupling. Caution! Installation of an aftermarket lube plate will also void your Holland fifth wheel warranty. SAF Holland has engineered fifth wheels with integrated lube plates. When looking for a low lube fifth wheel, please see the Holland FW33 or Holland FWAL fifth wheels. Lastly, inspect the kingpin for wear. The gauge can be used to check a 2-inch kingpin and shoulder on one side and a 3.5 inch kingpin and shoulder on the other as shown here. Slide the gauge onto the kingpin neck. If the kingpin fits into the slot from any direction, then it exceeds 1 8 inch of wear and must be replaced. Also, check the kingpin shoulder. Again, if it fits into the slot in the gauge from any direction, the kingpin should be replaced. Warning, kingpins are manufactured from quenched and tempered alloy steel. Weld repairs of any type will affect the strength and wear resistance of the kingpin. SAF Holland warns against any weld repairs to the kingpin neck and shoulder area as shown in this diagram. This completes the inspection procedures for Holland kingpins.